What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make wooden knuckles. Now these are usually made out of brass, but I don't have any brass and I can't cast aluminum just yet. But I will be able to pretty soon, so look forward to that. So, let's get to it. What you need to do is cut out the rough outline. Uh, I drew out this template, but you can uh, get templates online. Just google like, brass knuckle template and I'm sure you'll find something. I originally made the uh, the paper template a little too small, so I glued it down and just kind of went around it with a bigger spacing, I guess. So now I'm going to cut it out with the jigsaw. The wood I'm using is some uh, half-inch oak wood. So now I need to sand down the edges to uh, make them connect with the uh, the black line. So I'm going to use my belt sander. I'm going to drill these four holes. I used a knife. This, uh, I used this knife to uh, kind of make the initial holes so that I can center them up, center them up really well. I'm going to be using a three-quarter inch drill bit. All right, and uh, so after massive amounts of sanding later, it's uh, structurally done. Use a Dremel tool to uh, round out the holes and a belt sander to round out all the edges. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. So now I'm going to use some spray on enamel to uh, bring out the grain and give it a protective coat. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and leave a suggestion on what weapon I should make next. I'll see you guys in the next video. When I was a kid, I always loved to go into the woods. And I would always have a stick with me when I went in, so that I could just break and hit all the dead branches that were just lying around and in my way. So, I went out into the woods, and I got this this big stick thing. I, well, I cut it. I cut it down from a tree. It's a. Uh, I think it's a piece of Osage orange. I'm not sure, but I cut it into about a four foot length. And since it was inspired by me being a kid, I decided to make it very, very exotic. So I'm not really sure exactly what to call it. But I'm thinking of calling it the Exota Bat. A mix between exotic and bat. So here's the aesthetic breakdown. First, we got a grip. This is, it's, it's a two-handed grip, but it's disconnected between on this piece of wood where I just spray painted silver for no reason whatsoever. Mixed between duct tape, electrical tape, and hockey tape, or friction tape. Wrapped around this uh whittled down piece right here and then it goes up wraps wraps around more with some duct tape goes up with a silver wood spacer it's just a paracord and then some fishing line wrapped around with some orange paracord twine and then I got a little bored after after that because it was just like a giant piece of wood and it didn't seem very exotic so what I went and did is I got a long piece of aluminum foil and wrapped it around the entire business side of the of the club. And uh, just to keep it all on there, I added some twine. So let's see this thing in action. 